Welcome to this video. Today I want to share with you an easy rubric that I've created using Google Sheets that would be very handy to incorporate into Google Classroom as well. That's a, that's a feature that I really miss in Google Classroom is having a rubric set where I can click and provide feedback very quickly. So what I've done is I've created um, a Google Sheets version of a rubric. You can get to that rubric template just by typing in that bit.ly code right there. And so when you go to your browser and type in that URL, you will be presented with a screen that looks like this. And if you like this template and would like a copy of it on your Google Drive, you will just press use this template up here in the top right. And now you have a version of this that lives right there on your own Google Drive. It's called Rubric Template. Um, and you can customize this as you would like. If I were you, I would probably, before I started making a specific rubric for your project, I would probably say File and make a copy. Then you could call, so you'll have this template always living on your drive. Then you could have a specific copy like the rubric for your essay. Now, you have the rubric for your essay, and then you can begin just customizing anything you want. So for example, really anything here you can customize. You can change the names of your categories. You can change the point values assigned to each one. Of course, you want to go ahead and put in your performance descriptions. What does it mean to be distinguished in criteria one? Edit your criteria as well. Um, as you scroll down, I gave you 10 rows, 10 criteria to, to judge on. I was hoping that you wouldn't have any more than that. But let's say I'm going to make an essay rubric. What I would say is I don't need all these. I would highlight them, right click, and delete these rows. Then I would come in here and start saying things like um, what my criteria are. I'm not an English teacher, so don't judge my um, criteria on grading. Um, and then you would edit each of these boxes. Just make sure you don't type into this box. Edit each of these boxes to describe what it would be to be distinguished with your focus, but make sure you're, you don't accidentally type on top of your checkboxes. So for example, you would go across the row, typing in some descriptors for each one, um, for all of your criteria. You might even, you might even put in the assignment name, leave the student name blank. Um, you don't want to change any of these values here or any of these values here. Those are all calculated. Now, the great thing about this rubric is as you're looking at this unit's paper, click and it will do the math for you. If they were terrible or they had zero style, just leave it blank and that will give them zero points. But if they were novice or whatnot. Now, I've also written some code that runs, a, uh, Google Apps code runs a little slowly, but if you change your mind so you don't have to go double click, when you click one in that row, it will unhighlight the other one that you might have clicked. So if you decide that really that's a four, but you had a two selected that will go away. But you may have to be a little patient because it's not instantaneous. The spreadsheet has to think about it just a little bit. But look how beautiful this is. It, it gives them run, a rundown of the points they've earned, total, does the total for you, even does the percentage um, if you would like. And as your rubric, if you wanted this, if you wanted to change the point values, you could do that and it will do the math for you still. So all this math will be based on the number of categories and the points that you have. You could even change um, these descriptors. Probably not, you probably don't want those particular descriptors, but um, you can go crazy, change just about anything that you want. Just do not delete your text boxes and don't change anything with a number in it and you'll be good to go. So once you have this ready, you probably don't want to check it before you send it to the students. Um, you have your rubric ready, it lives on your Google Drive, and it will be a very um, easy way to integrate this with your Google Classroom. So you could have this be giving detailed feedback to your students with the click of a button. As you um, notice, things are also frozen for you appropriately. So if you need to scroll down, you don't lose the important pieces of information. So now that you've created that rubric in the next video, I will show you how to get this integrated into your grading on Google Classroom.